Thank you all for having me. Last year, the worst Ebola epidemic in human history took hold in West Africa. In Liberia, Guinea, and in Sierra Leone, over 25,000 people were infected, and tragically, more than 10,000 people lost their lives. However, the rate of new infections has been declining significantly due to the tireless efforts of aid organizations, such as Doctors Without Borders, working hand in hand with local governments. This has also paved the way for clinical trials testing experimental drugs and vaccines against Ebola. And I just want to highlight the efforts of one clinician in particular who's been at the forefront of the epidemic from the very beginning, and this is Dr. Gorby Logan. Dr. Logan is the chief health officer of Bomi County in a rural area of Liberia just north of their capital. And since early on in the epidemic, he had an exciting new idea to treat Ebola patients with an HIV drug called lamivudine. Dr. Logan reasoned that HIV and Ebola are fairly similar. Both viruses infect white blood cells of our immune system, and both viruses are genetically related. With 15 Ebola patients in his care, he treated them with this drug, and miraculously, 13 of them survived their infection. However, Dr. Logan was unable to test lamivudine directly against the virus. And so, as an HIV researcher, I took it upon myself to test his ideas. I requested from the U.S. National Institute of Health a safe version of Ebola that can be tested in any lab. This Ebola virus-like particle, or VLP for short, can still infect cells, but the virus is unique because it's been broken into five components. In this way, the virus in blue can only infect a cell if the other four missing pieces are there. This allows the virus to enter, replicate, make copies, and leave the cell, but it is unable to infect healthy normal tissues. This is important because one, it allows me to look at drugs in one full replication cycle of the virus, and two, there's an inherent safety feature: this virus cannot infect people. I then acquired the drug lamivudine, as well as two related HIV drugs called AZT and tenofovir. And when I treat cells in culture with these drugs, I could reduce Ebola by as much as 50%, as shown by the three yellow bars. When I add these drugs in combinations of two, I could reduce infection further. And triple therapy, with all three of them combined, reduced Ebola by 87%. I've now expanded this to a panel of eight different drugs, tested 80 unique combinations, and can further inhibit Ebola by 98.5% in cell culture. Currently, I'm collaborating with a prominent Ebola researcher who had a leading role in, during the Toronto SARS epidemic, and together we have created a brand new clinical trial that has now started in Guinea. I'm very thankful to have had this research experience. But most importantly, I'm proud to stand up for the voices of those on the front lines of the epidemic, because it's people like Dr. Logan that the world needs to hear. Thank you.